Hey everybody, Kenny Conklin here from HobbyLinkInternational.com. Welcome to another YouTube video. So are you a noob at 3D printing like I am and you destroyed your FEP like I did on my Mono X? Well, I'm here to show you how to change it. I've watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to do it. A lot of them go very quickly. I'm gonna show you some of the difficulties with the screws and stuff like that. So let's get over to the video and see what I did. Things that we're gonna need for this project, the screws that we took off the bat, we're going to need a utility knife, a bottle cap that's about 13 millimeters in height. Anti-static tweezers are pretty good because they have a very sharp point on them. And also our 2.5 and 2.0 wrenches. To save time in this video, I've already taken the vat apart. That's the easy part. Just make sure when you have the gasket, you take either a clean paper towel or I like to use microfiber cloths with alcohol and clean off all that excess resin and make sure it's all good and dry. You're gonna do the same thing with the vat, make sure it's cleaned up, make sure you got all that excess resin off, especially underneath here. So that'll be done. And the most important thing we're gonna need is our new piece of FEP, which is very hard to see on camera. Now we'll get to reinstalling the FEP. When you do the FEP, you're gonna to wanna to start on the side with the smaller holes. As you can see, the big holes are here. That's to screw down onto the main portion of the vat. The other gasket has the smaller holes and it has more. If you're not sure of which one is which, just take your gasket and line it up with your vat and these holes will line up where you have to screw back onto the vat. Make sure your work surface is clean. We don't want to get anything on the FEP to begin with. We're going to put our bottle cap in the center of the frame. The next thing we're going to do is pull off the protective sheets on the FEP itself. There's two sides of protective film on these, so make sure you get both off. The FEP needs a little bit of distance on it before we actually put it down to the main vat. You don't want to just lay this flat and try to crank it down because when we crank it down to the vat, it's actually going to tighten it up. So that's why we want the bottle cap in the middle. Now that we have the FEP on, we're going to take the other gasket and line up the holes. Want to make sure those holes are lined up perfectly. We're gonna hold it down tight. I keep my screws in this little cup just to make sure I had them all on hand and didn't lose them. You don't wanna just try to take a screw and push it through the FEP because that's not gonna work. You're gonna ruin your FEP. Just take the tweezers and poke a little hole and you're gonna take your first screw and we're gonna do the four corners. We're gonna start here, go to the opposite corner, Go to the opposite corner and the opposite corner. And this one we're going to use the 2.0 wrench. Sometimes it's easier to push it down a little bit through that hole you made. And just screw the corner in. I'm gonna go into time lapse for this because it's a lot easier because there's a lot of screws.
Now that we have our gaskets together and the FEP in the middle, just go around one more time, make sure everything is good and tight. When you are doing this, sometimes, as you saw me struggling a little bit, the FEP in the holes messes with the screws. Make sure your screws are straight up and down. If they're canted, you're gonna cross thread it and you're gonna ruin this piece and you're gonna have to get a new one. So just take your time. I know YouTube, a lot of people show you in a split second that it's done. It really isn't that quick. So now we're gonna move this over to the vat. Now that our screws are tight and our FEP has a little give to it, we're gonna flip it over. The bigger holes will go this way. We're gonna line that up with our other holes underneath and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go corner, 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 and then we could put the rest of the screws in. You're gonna pop your FEP just to make sure that you have a good hole in there. And then we're gonna take our next set of screws, our bigger screws, and we're gonna take our 2.5 wrench and we're gonna start screwing the vat back on. When you do this, don't go too tight. If you see it lifting like that, just tighten it up because then we're gonna come back around and we're gonna tighten everything up tighter. Now we have all our screws in, we're gonna go around corner to corner, side to side, and start tightening things down evenly. They're all pretty much hand tight. So now I'll go around and just give it that little extra twist. And pull them in. Okay, all our screws are locked down nice and tight. All we have left is the excess of the FEP itself here that we're gonna take care of now. And we have a nice tight FEP on the vat. So this part, just be careful. Have a nice new sharp knife. Come around the inside edge and start taking off all this excess FEP. Okay, so everything is done. Just make sure that the new FEP is clear of fingerprints and pet hair. I have a lot of pets, so I do tend to get dog and cat hair everywhere. And that's it. We can start printing again. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I really appreciate it. I hope it helped you change your FEP. Uh, the main thing that I have to tell you is just be careful with those screws. When you're poking the holes in the FEP, sometimes they're a little canted and that could cross thread the plate and then you're gonna end up having to get a new one because it'll be all messed up. So just make sure they're straight, secure, corner to corner, and you'll be good to go and you'll have that nice taut FEP on there. So enjoy printing. I'm getting back to printing and we're gonna do some cool stuff for it. I got a diorama idea in mind and I will see you all on the next video. So make sure you're taking care of yourselves out there. Take care and bye-bye everybody.